So at this house, we have a raccoon problem. And we're not sure if it's a male or female. The residents aren't sure if it's still occupying the home because they haven't heard anything in the past couple nights. With that, we have to assume that the animal is still living in the house. So what we've done is we identified the entry point. We did a soft close on it, just gently closing up that hole so the animal can get in and out easily. And we used a male raccoon hormone in case it's a female to act as a deterrent. The reason why we do this instead of using a, a trap and tra following a traditional trapping method is if it is a female raccoon and she has babies, we want to give her an opportunity to get those babies out of the attic into a safe place before we seal up her home. So if we trap and I trap her, we won't know if there's babies up there. So the soft clothes, the male raccoon deterrent, all works well with this process when you're not sure if it's a male or female and whether or not you have babies in your attic. If the babies are left in the attic, obvious what's going to happen, they're going to die, you're going to get maggots, you're going to get flies, and a horrible odor for several weeks. So we're trying to avoid that and we're also trying to make sure that they survive and grow up to be happy, healthy raccoons. If you suspect that you have raccoons in your house, give us a call. We'll get them out and keep them out, guaranteed.